truth. Meghan and Harry mocked only able to be viral within juveniles by PR while the others refused. Meghan and Harry have been able to grab only the attention of younger generations who haven't grown up with deference for the royal family, according to Republic CEO Graham Smith. Mr. Smith warned there is a major chasm between the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and the rest of the royal family when it comes to their appeal to new generations. The couple, who announced their intention to step back from the royal family in January 2020 because of their personal lives and their struggles as working members of the royal family. They even spoke with Winfrey about their time at Kensington Palace and the family rift that has made headlines over the past few years in a in public interview in March. Younger people, he thinks, aren't as fascinated by the firm as their parents and elder generations. On the other hand, they are attracted by the Sussexes as the couple portray an image that resonates with them. Mr. Smith told Express.co.uk, We've seen this in option polls over the past few months, particularly people who are younger, who don't have the same experiences of deference and not criticizing the royals, they have quickly turned off the royal family. Of course they are still privileged, very wealthy and protected more than the rest of us, but in popular imagination I think they reflect a lot of those issues in a way that resonates with younger people. Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, will create and executive produce Pearl, an animated series for Netflix. Hailing from Markle and Prince Harry's Archul Productions banner, Pearl, W.T., is a family series that centers on the adventures of a 12-year-old girl who finds inspiration in a variety of influential women throughout history. STEM4, a charity promoting positive mental health in teenagers, published last month a poll carried out to find out who are the most respected personalities by youngsters aged between 13 to 25. While the Queen was named the most respected among the royals by the 1,032 individuals polled, Harry and Meghan came in second and third position with 22% and 21% of the votes respectively. Kate and Prince William received 11% and 10% of the votes. The percentage of people who like her drops to only 13% when the opinion of baby boomers, people born before 1964, is taken into consideration. Similarly, Harry is liked by 41% of the millennials polled and by just 12% of the baby boomers. The Duke of Sussex is due to return in September, and this time could be joined by his wife Meghan Markle. Harry has just gone back to the US after his whirlwind UK trip to unveil a statue of his late mother at Kensington Palace with Prince William. The event on Thursday was scaled down due to coronavirus restrictions. But reports say he will be back on British soil in around 10 weeks to join 100 friends, family and charity leaders for another memorial event. In the wake of the death of George Floyd, the Duchess delivered an impassioned speech to the Immaculate Heart High School class of 2020, the same school she attended as a teenager. Speaking to the students, she urged them to channel their education and be part of rebuilding U.S. society. In July 2020, Meghan and Harry held a video call with young campaigners and members of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust saying it is necessary to acknowledge the past before moving forward. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been mental health advocates for years and even collaborated on a series of projects with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, including the launch of the 24-7 support service Shout. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge took their seven-year-old son Prince George to the Euro final at Wembley Stadium on Sunday, and while the family were jumping from the seats early in the match, they walked out devastated. Asked whether Kate and William's work and campaigns on mental health could help the royal family become more relatable to younger generations, Mr. Smith said, To some people I think, but I think Meghan and Harry are very different to William and Kate. I think the fact that they have left, the fact that Meghan isn't an English aristocrat, that she is American, that they have gone to the States, creates a different image. It's all very well William getting involved in these issues but I don't think it's going to make a whole world of difference, don't think it's going